Designing a space for people with autism needs to be very sophisticated from an acoustic, a lighting, a materials standpoint. And I think that those lessons translate to every building for everyone. You know, people are nicer to each other in positive space. And part of our goal for children with autism in schools is for them to want to be there and want to be around each other. And that's much easier to do in a beautiful space. Open space is important because our children have a need to incorporate a lot of movement in their day and our playground affords them the ability to run, jump, climb, and express themselves physically in many ways. This building was really designed to allow children just space in which to move. And so the width of the hallways, the size of the classrooms are all positive. I like to swing on the swings. It makes me laugh when I'm swinging. I like to go swimming in the pool. For us, it was very important to provide children with safety skills around water and swimming. I think it's really important to have a safe space for the kids when they need time away to regroup or come down from a crisis. It's really important they have that space where they can take that time to rejoin the group and be part of their day. Each floor is pretty uniform and doesn't differ in layout very much. So each floor is familiar to them on some level. When they transition up from their classroom, it looks pretty much the same. One design element that really helped to our students in transition is the fact uh, that we've removed some of the need to transition out of the classroom. And that is with the breakout rooms uh, provided for therapy in classrooms. People on the autism spectrum don't always navigate through verbal cues. There are other ways of navigation, so we, we call them psychological cues, whether it's patterns or textures, colors, iconic imagery. Giving people those opportunities to exist in smaller or softer spaces outside of the classrooms was something that was really important to this project. A unique thing here at the Bancroft School are our vocational training areas. They are designed to provide real world experiences in a safe environment that fits the particular needs of our students and allow them then to move on to generalize to workplaces in the community. It is great to have spaces that maximize what someone learns and what someone can do in those spaces. That doesn't mean that you can stop there. I personally love seeing how much we can help a student with these sensory supports. If a student's having trouble sitting in class, sitting upright, staying in their seat, and we give them an adaptive seat, and all of a sudden they're able to stay with the group and they're part of the lesson. And that's a really tangible, easy way to see how we're helping these kids. I have worked in locations where the sensory gym is in the basement and there's no windows, no natural light. And it's a totally different feel. And it's also nice we have the blinds that we can control how much light is coming in. And if the outside world is too stimulating, we can block that out. You have to have rounded corners and you have to have no fluorescent lights. And I think that those recommendations are positive, but I think the reality is that what you want is some respect for the specific difficulties and strengths that people with autism have. 